Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent spirit guide messages. Now, Cancer, I also do your weekly tarot card readings for both your general tarot messages as well as your you versus them tarot messages. I'll leave links to both of them over there for you to check out at a later point. But Cancer, when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition. Because keep in mind, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate with you, Cancer, and leave what doesn't, because I promise you, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you, Cancer, I would really appreciate it for you to take the time to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And I just always appreciate when you guys take the extra step to do that for, to support my tarot readings. Um, and then also let me know which card do, does resonate with you, Cancer, if you do find some cards that resonate because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? And then before we get into this reading, Cancer, I do just want to say that this reading here, all my tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought, something for you to consider, a perspective for you to think about as you go throughout your week, as you go throughout your life, as you go throughout your just the, your journey, right, honey? So I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine. So it's not my place to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. So with all that in mind, let's just get into these urgent spirit guide messages for you, Cancer, through tarot. Now, I always like to start with some oracle cards first, but for some reason, honey, Cancer, I did not pull out your, shuffle out your animal oracle cards just yet. So we'll just do that right now. Uh, we'll talk about this card first while we shuffle for your other animal card deck. Animal card, Cancer. We have the cat card, the uh, cat Honey, let's just start this over. We have the cat card coming in for you, Cancer. This card says it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. So we're getting into that codependent energy, uh, Cancer. So, you know, this could be in regards to a person, right? Usually codependency. When you think about codependency, it's usually in regards to a person. But this could just be in a sense of um, what I want you to think, how I want you to think about this, Cancer, rather, is think about this from a place of being like, what is it that you're telling yourself that you think you need, but that you don't actually need, right? So what do I mean by this? This would mean like, for example, like for some people, they feel like they can't go out to a party without getting a couple of drinks in them first because they feel like they need to, they need that extra drink to feel social and to really um, blossom into a social butterfly, right? They put that reliance, that dependency on being able to socialize with people with a little bit of alcohol or insert whatever item it is, right? So that's what I feel like that card really comes in at, where it's honing in and being like, there's something that you're telling yourself, Cancer, that you think you need in your life in order to accomplish certain things or to attain a certain thing, um, which just isn't the case. Spoiler alert, Cancer. Um, the other animal card that I pulled for you is number 46 equaling to 1 for numerology. Cancer, so write that down to look up later, is the peacock spirit, let it shine. So this is really um, a beautiful message just with these two cards alone, Cancer, because it's like, hey, stop telling yourself that you need to, or stop relying on something that you think you need, um, and just allow yourself to break free, allow yourself to um, explore what it is that you are, right? Allow your own... Um, talents your own what have you just you yourself shine rather than allowing yourself be dimmed by like another person or dimmed by some other thing right whether that is alcohol what have you so it's almost as if like for some of you cancers there's been something something that you've been supplementing that you perhaps feel like you're lacking in yourself um so what how do we even want to get into these tarot cards now for the rest of this general message we have here the Eight of Wands here. This is the card of, I mean, I'm gonna definitely step on some toes, Cancer, but this is definitely a card of um, self-restriction. This is a card of self-sabotage. When I receive this card, this is lets me know if a person that's telling themselves so many reasons or it will just be blunt and say excuses, Cancer, for why it is they, you don't do certain things, right? It's one of those things where 
usually people will be like, oh, I can't do such and such because my environment doesn't let me. Or it's like, I can't, I don't want to put myself on camera until like I lose enough weight and I, you deem yourself as attractive. And it's just like, that's not the case. Like you're already attractive, honey. You don't need to tell, you don't need these things before certain things to be done or accomplished before you go out and finally do something. Just do it. I uh, can't say what has you in this place of feeling really guarded and feeling as if um, this two of swords energy just really closed off, not wanting to probably not wanting to even have yourself shine. Do you feel like, I mean, this is kind of heavily leaning into some imposter syndrome cancer that I'm getting from this, where it's just like, if you don't know what imposter syndrome is, one, I suggest you looking it up. Um, not because I don't want to tell you, but because my general synopsis of it might not give it justice, but it's essentially as if you feel like you're, um, not living up to where other people think you should be living up to. So I'll use myself as an example. If I was experiencing imposter syndrome when it came to doing tarot, where imposter syndrome would come in is where it's just like, oh, like the, the next video I post, everyone's going to realize that I'm just some fraud, not that I am, um, and realize that I'm not as talented or as good as th these people think I am, right? It's kind of like playing yourself down, um, dimming your light because uh, you feel like you're not good enough for the position that you're in or the position that you're trying to get to, right? And that's kind of like a, my synopsis of what I see as imposter syndrome. And that is what it is that we need to bring into balance. This is where, what it is that you need to come to this level of, um, understanding this pattern or behavior that you have with yourself and not only identifying this problem, cancer, but truly taking care of that over dependency, what truly taking care of like, what it is that you're feeling codependent about cancer. Because when you think about it, it's such a situation where it's just like, if you feel like you can't obtain something unless you reach a certain standard, unless you reach a certain goal, um, you're really doing nothing but limiting yourself. You're placing, you're placing rules where rules weren't existing beforehand and then trying to maneuver through those rules. Sometimes you make it through those rules, right? Sometimes you're just like, okay, yeah, you say you want to lose 10 pounds before you go on camera. Some of you achieve that, but, and that's good, but you could have achieved that while still making content while you're working towards losing those 10 pounds. Just because you feel like you need something, um, one, obviously it's not just the case, but two, you can do more than one thing. You don't have to reach a certain standard because that's the thing. A lot of people will set up such a high standard for themselves before they try out something, right? You don't want to do a YouTube channel unless you have the perfect setup, the perfect audio. Clearly, I don't have a perfect setup. I don't have no perfect... I'm just sitting on my phone, honey. And if I told myself the excuses being like, oh, I don't want to do a tarot channel until... I have a better setup until like my environment is more conducive to having a professional setup that in my eyes would be more fitting, then I wouldn't be making content until much later, right? I'd be waiting until I'm at a position where I have that background and stuff. But, you know, as y'all can clearly tell right now, receiving this reading, I can be doing, I can be working on two, two different things at once. I can work on improving my setup, but I also can put content out there, right? Um, so think about it in that way, Cancer. We have coming in, continuing on with this reading, the Knave of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Discs. This is where, hmm, this is where it's coming in, Cancer. This is where, truly, when I see this, this is all encompassing where you're kind of scared of other people's perceptions of you, or you're scared or... So maybe scared isn't the word for it, Cancer. Maybe you're just a little bit nervous about how other people will receive you, right? With this uh, Knave of Wands, which would, which would be like the Page of Wands in normal tarot, this would be coming in as like a new beginning. But in this deck, you see this person kind of like putting themselves, almost like trapping themselves in, diff uh, in a way. So it's almost like you're stopping yourself from this new beginning because of these two other cards. This explains it. Five of Disc and the Five of Wands. These two cards, the Necronomicon, if you can't already tell, honey, is very different from those tarot decks. Um, both of these is where you are this person getting rocks thrown at you. Um, and this is that energy where you feel left out. You feel um, abandoned, outcasted. Five of Wands is that conflict card as well, where you feel like people would turn on you. So it's such a heavy energy um cancer where it's just like you don't you're really trying so hard to dim your own light just because 
of this just because you're scared of how things would be received. You're literally, quite literally blocking your own path opening up more because of these two excuses, of these fears. And now I'm not trying to downplay your situation whatsoever, Cancer, so please don't think of me trying to dismiss your feelings because they're completely valid and I understand it. But it's one of those things, and this is de definitely a case of imposter syndrome, feeling as if the world is going to like figure you out or fi find you out even though there's nothing to find out besides finding out that you're a beautiful person, Cancer. Um, if this is just something we have to work through somehow, right? I'm not, I don't really feel drawn to hone in on these messages too much more, Cancer, because I feel like you kind of get the point. Um, just work on that imposter, imposter syndrome. Work on that relationship that you have with yourself. If you feel like people are going to turn on you, go approach it logically. Be like, well, why do I think people would turn on me? Is it because of this and this and this? You know, identify what you think would be the problem and then see if that's even logical, right? And if it is logical, then take care of that problem. But don't halt your progress um because of it right you do you want to keep continuing going forward right own this king of disc energy where you're working on your empire you're building up that stability you're making good business decisions and you just truly um are up for the challenge right i'm going to reference the imagery of this card as well just because the necronomicon really speaks so beautifully through imagery cancer with this king of discs you're kind of um in this i mean if for my cancers that are not into the occult this probably isn't really much of anything to you don't know what you're looking at but for those that are into the occult in some type of way you'll be able to recognize this where the summoner this practitioner rather um put uh, their summoning circle their invoking circle evocation circle whatever you want to call it right i'm not into trying to get into the semantics of it but this they brought forward um a spirit they and, uh, evoked a spirit to come to them right that's why they have this uh triangle here that's where essentially like you don't you y'all probably don't care about the details essentially this per this individual this practitioner built up the gall enough and felt more secure in themselves to handle the challenge which would be evoking this um being this entity right and that's kind of how it is for you is just being able to build up the courage to be this practitioner and put yourself up for the challenge and not telling yourself that you would fail or what have you um you know just challenge face the challenge head on and you would be really happy with the results i feel cancer so i apologize for getting a little bit weird there and going off the uh normal tarot that i do but i just felt inclined to like use that as an example because i feel like it's going to make sense for some new cancers so we talk about all that honey let's get into some blessings something that cancer sh can look forward to coming to them right because we already talked about what it is that cancer should look work on with themselves what is it that cancer should look forward to what is it that we have good coming for you miss or mr cancer so we pulled, okay, <laughs> we pulled for you, Cancer, <clears throat> the Five of Cups, the Tower card, and the Emperor card. Now, I am going to be honest here, Cancer, this is probably not stuff that you seemingly off first reflex are being like, this is nothing I want to look forward to, right? Because it's like, I know so because this Tower moment is going to happen. So definitely this isn't letting me know it was something, um, I don't feel comfortable giving time frames. Um, for general readings especially. But with this tower card, I sense a big change coming for you. This kind of is foreshadowing a big, usually sudden change, right? Kind of like how lightning strikes something. You don't really have an idea, like you can kind of know when lightning might strike, maybe, but like it just is out of nowhere that lightning will strike, right? And I am gonna be honest, I don't see like, I don't see it in a super chaotic way. I mean, as, I mean, as, the tower is, is naturally known to be chaotic, but I don't see this in too much of a, too much of an impedful way for you. But you, I do see you kind of uh, being a bit frustrated with the tower moment initially, right? And now it's making more sense as to why spirit would bring this forward, Cancer, because it does seem to be like, you're gonna be going through like a little bit of a rough transition, a little bit of a clearing. Y'all definitely gonna be doing some clearing and you're not it's not going to make sense at first with this five of cups coming in it's not going to make sense but and i know this probably is not going to bring comfort for a lot of you cancers because it sounds like a cop-out but i promise you it's not um it almost feels like this need tower moment needs to happen because that's how you come into your power almost so let's just say like maybe you've been dealing with that imposter syndrome for a while 
cancer, which I feel like you have been, um, and that over-dependency on something or someone, maybe this tower moment happens that forces you to no longer have that over-dependency. And then it's kind of like that where you're forced to like come into your own power and to take that leadership proactive role um, in your life and take matters into your own hands. So let's get some more clarification on this actually. See what is up with this. What is this leading to? Because it's like, Here's the thing, like, yeah, it's, I definitely see this, like, you coming into your power more, but that doesn't really tell me the purpose of, like, what's being wiped clean for you. So, if I can get a handle on these cards, honey. All right. So, we have the Six of Wands coming in here, Cancer. So, victory. This is the victory card. Um, so, it does let me know that you'll like it. You'll like the results at the end of this point, uh, at the end of dealing with it all. But... It does seem to be like this tower moment comes in to kind of like kind of put you in this place of being hermiting a little bit. There does seem to be some type of separation of energy that spirit's trying to have for you or like trying to take you away from some type of mindset, some type of energy, whether it's your own and the mindset that you have going on or with somebody or in your environment. They're trying to take you away from that. They're trying to make, essentially have you let go of some things that are not a service to you. And again, Five of Cups is following you. You're really not happy about this. <laughs> like Again, I'm going to be honest here, Cancer. You're not going to be happy about this transitional period because initially you're probably just going to be like, well, why did this need to happen? This is why, King of Cups. Um, it's one of it's it's a quote from a Bible from the Bible verse from the Bible, where it's just like something along the lines of you may not understand now, but later you will. Something along those lines, right? At first you may not understand, at first it may not make sense to you, Cancer, but later down the road, I promise you it will. You just kind of have to just don't fall victim, don't spiral right now, Cancer. Really hold yourself accountable. Um, challenge yourself in figuring out what way that you can allow yourself to shine. Because something I also want to point out, Cancer, for you is that this isn't the only card talking about the spotlight for you. This Six of Wands as well is a card that talks about like the spotlight being put on you, right? You look at this card, spotlight. Even if you look up the meaning of Cancer, or of Cancer, of <laughs> Six of Wands, you'll see usually in most definitions talking about victory and like a spotlight, you being noticed. So there is definitely this calling, Cancer, for you to put yourself out there and be noticed. And so when it comes to tarot, obviously you read in between the lines. There's a reason why Spirit is trying to have you break free. There's, there's a reason why Spirit is trying to have you put a spotlight on yourself because there's definitely something in the works for you. There's definitely something going on that you're not quite aware of. So yeah, beautiful reading for you though, Cancer. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, Cancer. Be sure to share this video with a friend and I'll connect with you hopefully sometime in the future. Until next time, Cancer, I love you so much. Bye.